Wes, thank you so much for your presentation. How engaging. Being transformed by the renewal of our minds. I was thinking, well, what can I do to be transformed? Are there some specific things that I can do? So I came up with four very briefly. Basically, if you want to be transformed by the renewal of your mind, it takes two things. First of all, you won't want to hear this, I know, but it takes discipline. If there's going to be any change, if I want to build my muscles, I'm going to have to pump some iron, do some exercises. Disciple is based on the word discipline. It takes some discipline. And secondly, it takes other people, especially during these difficult times with the pandemic. We have been segregated from other people and we're having a difficult time with that. We need others. We are better together. So these are my four, four points that will help us to be transformed. They will help us to take that old deck to rip it apart and start building it anew. Number one, every morning, if you would read the daily devotion that we provide here at Trinity, it's a discipline. Do it at the same place, the same time. If you can read it with your loved one, if you uh, are able to do that, that would be awesome. But each day, read the scripture passage, the devotional thought. Write down, underline anything that speaks to you because you'll want to use that later on. But every day, if you can begin with God's word, that is a plus and it will begin you thinking about God. Secondly, at the end of the day, look at your five fingers of thanks. End your day by reflecting on the day. You might even do this when you're driving home from work, perhaps. Just reflect on the day. Count off five things you're thankful for. You do that and your whole attitude will be changed if you do that every day. Begin the day with a daily devotions with God. You end the day with five fingers, five things that you're thankful for. Now, the third point is probably the most difficult, and that is get involved in a small group. We are better together. We need other people. We need their input. We need their enthusiasm. We need to help them if they are in need. So we can help you with this. Perhaps you would meet with them here at church, outside in a room, wear a mask inside, in your home, in your yard, on a Zoom meeting. We will help you set up a small group experience. If there's ever been a time when we need to connect with other people, now is the time. And when you get together, what do you do? Guess what? You use your daily devotion. You look back over the week as you meet and you just look at what you underlined, what spoke to you. You share what happened in your week, uh, any difficulties, any joys, things you're thankful for. But by connecting with one another, you will be come transformed, helping others to do the same. So you begin with daily devotions and the day with five fingers of thanks. You meet with a small group. And finally, the fourth one is easy because you're doing it right now. You worship, you worship, you focus on God, get your eyes off of our problems and focus on the one who created us and is working in us. There are three ways you can worship. You can tune in, you can drive in, or you can come in. One of those three will work for you. These are four ways that God can use you and help you to be transformed by the renewal of your mind.